At the end of this video, you will know how to light for visual effects. <laughs> At the end of this video, you will know how to light for visual effects. Hi everyone, this is Chloe from Wanna Share For More here to empower your inner video creator. Ever wondered how your favorite movies or videos created those stunning visual effects? There is a secret behind it. With this secret weapon, you are going to be able to bring your video to the next level easily. It is... Lighting for the visual effects! A video that is lit for the visual effects could look very different from a video that did not light for the visual effects. Take a closer look at these two clips. Can you spot some differences here? Oh, by the way, if you haven't already downloaded from our top, get started at fomoartowannashare.com or click the link in the description. Let's take a closer look at the effects that I'm going to use. Go to the stickers tab on the top left and search for electricity 11 and electricity 13. Let's drag these clouds onto the timeline. I will observe how fast the lightning in the cloud is and take it as a reference later. Then, let's look at the lightning elements. Search for electricity energy 1, electricity 7, and electricity 8, and drag them onto the timeline. Since each lightning element flash only once, we can decide how many times we want them to appear in the frame. It'll be great if I can export a video with the elements, so I can refer to the video while setting up the LED lights. Okay, now let's set up the lights. It's always easy to plan the lighting of a shot ahead of time. Take our first LED light and set it to a faster flashing mode, so it matches the lightning in the clouds. I'm going to place the light here, so it seems like the light is coming from the correct source. Then, grab another LED light and set it to a relatively slower speed and place it next to the first LED. To make sure I have a better result, I will film multiple times with various frequencies, so I have more options in editing. When we have all the footage, let's bring them into Filmora for editing. Drag and drop the best result clip onto the timeline. I'm going to color the clip to a color look first. Go to the color tab and find the color section. I'm going to drag the color temperature bar to the left side. Then, scroll down to find the light section. Let's increase the exposure number a little bit and drag the contrast bar to the right. Now that the clip is ready, let's add the visual effects to the timeline. Go to the stickers tab on the top left, search for electricity 13, and drop it onto the second video track. Leave it where it is for now. Let's find the electricity 11 element and drop it onto the fifth video track. I'm leaving two video tracks in between the cloud graphics for the lightning effects later. Adjust the scale and position of the clouds accordingly. Now, let's extend the length of the clouds to match the clip. After that, I'm going to move the clouds around on the timeline to try to match the lighting in the clips. Feel free to spend some time in this step. It could take more time than you imagine. Alright, now that we located both clouds on the timeline, it's time to add the lightning effects. I'm going to move the playhead on the timeline to find the parts where the LED flashes on the subject's face, but there is no lightning on the cloud graphics. We can add the lightning elements to these spots, so the LED flash matches. Go to the stickers tab and search for electricity 7. I'm going to drop it here. Again, adjust the scale and position accordingly. Find electricity 8, drag and drop it around here, and adjust the scale and position. Repeat the steps until we're happy with the look. Alright, we're almost there. To make it look even better, I'm going to add a rain effect. Go to the stickers tab, find rain effect 9, and drop it right at the spot after the subject leaves. Adjust the scale and position if needed. And ta-da! A super cool lightning effect is completed! These are not all. Don't limit yourself to just one visual effect. You can always use this lighting technique for other visual effects. For example, warning signs, 
fireworks in romantic videos, and flame tags in video intros. In firmware version 12.5, we have added many new VFX titles. Feel free to check them out and use them in your next video. What other lighting technique do you want to learn? Let us know in the comments! Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time!